With the coronavirus continuing to spread around the world, Google is asking businesses to update their Google listings should they be affected by the outbreak and published an official help document on how to best warn your potential customers. If you want to find out more, stay tuned because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips and tricks to help your small business grow online step by step and click by click. If it is your first time here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Google officially posted a notice on its Google My Business Help Center asking businesses affected by the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, to provide the most accurate information possible on their listing. There isn't any new feature available as part of GMB to do this, but instead, Google published a guide on how to make the most of existing attributes. Should your business be affected, I'm going to cover what you need to do. Let's get started with the first recommendation, business hours. If your opening and closing times have been affected, the first Google recommendation is to update your business hours. Head over to google.com slash business and log in to your Google My Business profile. From the left-hand side menu, click on Info. In the main panel, click on the pencil next to your opening times and amend accordingly. This will keep your customers up to date and prevent anyone from turning up if you are closed. Business description. The other attribute you can modify is your business description. Google recommends you use this space to explain if your business operations have been impacted by the outbreak. You can include any information such as additional precaution you may have put in place within your business, if you are providing any further services to the community or any other impacts such as delays or delivery issues. To modify your description, just scroll down the main panel and click on the pencil icon next to your existing description if you have one. Before you modify it, you might want to copy the existing one and save it in a safe place so you can reinstate it in due time. If your business hasn't been affected, I imagine this is an opportunity to reassure your customers and tell them you're doing business as usual. Google Posts. Google also suggests using posts to inform your customers about which services you still provide or products you still have available, as well as linking to other resources. To add a new post, just click on the Post option from the left-hand side menu. Select a post type from the main menu and start crafting your post. If you've never used Google Posts before, you should see this screen once you've clicked on Posts. The principle remains the same, choose the right category and start crafting your posts. I recommend you use an image size of 1024 by 576 pixels for best results. All the other fields are self-explanatory. Once again, if your business hasn't been affected by the coronavirus, you might want to use Google Posts to let people know all your services are available. Phone number. This is the last recommendation from Google and although it sounds obvious, make sure your phone number is the correct one so customers can get in touch. To edit your phone number, click on Info from the left-hand side menu and the pencil icon next to your phone number if it needs to be edited. Finally, this is my personal recommendation as Google doesn't mention anything about other digital assets you might have, such as your website, a Facebook business page, an Instagram business account. Should your business be affected, I suggest you also carry out similar updates on those platforms or wherever else customers are most likely to find you online. The more information you provide, the better you can manage your customers' expectations. Similarly, if your business hasn't been affected and depending on your business type, I would still add some updates to reassure your customers it is business as usual. That's it for today. This is a gloomy time for businesses of all sizes and we must do everything we can to prevent any further spread and protect our customers so we can go back to what we love doing best. See you next time.